Hi guys, how are you? I hope that you are all ready for today's practice. Welcome to our second session. And today uh, for presentation, we will talk about court lines and markings. So why uh, it's very important. Uh, sorry, before we start, guys, I hope uh, that you are uh, that you have enough space around yourself because when we start uh, with training you will need a little bit more space and that you have a water bottle filled near you if you're fasting guys uh, so you can training slowly okay and um, yeah I, uh, if you have any question guys you can ask on q a section okay after the session i will try to answer on that on your uh, questions OK, so uh, why is important to know uh, court lines and markings when you play? For example, when you play the game. Um, if you dribble the ball and you step on the sideline side, sideline, you will lose that ball. But why you will go outside of the ball uh, outside of the court and that is violation and other team will will be uh, will get that ball and you need to play defense so it's very important that you know the lines lines on the court so and of course we don't want we don't want to let that this that that happen okay so we will start with sidelines sidelines is this number one and sidelines are two bar bordering lines which are defined uh, defining the length size of the basketball court Along with baseline, which we'll talk uh, next one. Uh, along with base baseline, they they establish the size of playing area. So you can play only inside of that that lines. Okay, you cannot go outside. Like I said, that is violation, and you will lose possession of the ball. Okay, next one will be baseline or end line. So baseline or end line are two bordering lines which are defining uh, the width of the white of the basketball court and uh, they are located uh, four feet behind the basket like you see on diagram over here. OK, so next one, of course, when you receive the basket, when you receive the basket and you play defense, when you receive the basket, you need to go outside of that line and then you can pass the ball to your teammate and you can continue with with your game in offense. Uh, next line will be mid court line. So mid uh, mid court middle court line uh, divides the basketball court on two parts. So we have back court and front court. It will be easier for you on the back court. You play always you play defense. And on the front court, you play offense. So in the game, uh, you have also um, one rule. So you need to go from back court to front court. You need to cross that mid court line in eight seconds. OK, you have only eight seconds that you come from back court when you uh, win the ball. When you get the ball, you need to go from a back court to front court. You need to have you need to do that in eight seconds. Some in some leagues uh, you have 10 seconds, but usually is eight seconds that you cross the mid court line. OK, next line about we will talk about three point line. You all know where is three point line. So scoring shot behind that line is worth three points. Because of that, we call that three point line. The distance of uh, the three point line from the basket in NBA and Europe and here in as well is 23 feet. OK, so when you score behind that line, you score you, your point will be three. Your score will be three points. Next one, free throw line. So free throw line. Uh, from free throw line, players are shooting free throws. It's 15 feet away from the background, uh, backboard, sorry, sorry, backboard. And on a free throw attempt, the shooter cannot step, step on or across this line until the ball touches the rim. So when the ball touches the rim, then you, if you shoot, 
uh, you can go jump for the ball in case that you will miss. OK, if you make that earlier, that uh, your attempt will be. Uh, they will not count that attempt, even if you score. OK, next one will be free throw circle. So free throw circle is here. So free throw during a free throw attempt, the shooter must be inside of the free throw circle. So he cannot go outside on the three point line so he can stay inside of the uh, of that that circle. After the dead ball violation, players will jump for the ball again. And one player of each team will be inside of the free throw circle and non jumpers, the other guys, other players must be outside of the circle until the ball is stopped, tapped by one of the jumper. OK, so when they tap, uh, tap the ball, then other players can can go in inside of the, the circle. Next one will be lane line. It's lane line uh, are, uh, lane lines. Uh, are line from the free throw line to the baseline. The lane lines also contain lane spaces, markings, lane, uh, lane, lane spaces markings used to separate the players during the free throw attempt. You know when some uh, players shooting three free throw, you have three players on one side and two players on another side, and then then uh, when the shooter uh, shoots his second shot, they can go and jump for the ball in case that he, he missed the, 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 his attempt. So the first lane space on both, both sides, uh, sides of the basket are occupied by the opposing team from the free throw shooter. OK, so if I shoot my opposing team, uh, opposite uh, opposing teammates will be on that that line. So non shooters cannot step into the three second area until the ball leaves the free throw shooter's hand. So when I shot, OK, and when, when, I'm, when, I, when, I'm, when my ball leave my hand, they can go in and try to jump, jump uh, for the ball. And the last one is center circle. So the center circle circle is located in the center of the court. It it, it's used to start the game and other other jumps ball situation like like example uh, dead ball violation. OK, and on the jump balls, non jumpers. So the player who don't uh, jump for the ball, they need to be outside of that circle and only two players can can be inside one from one team and second from second team. OK, and when they tap the ball, other players can go inside of the circle and guys uh, like I said if you have any question about this uh, please um, you can ask in Q&A question and now we start with our training okay I hope that you are ready we need only one ball today and I hope that you will enjoy in this practice okay so let's start I will now stop sharing my screen very good. So, uh, like every session, like every session, we will start with some warm warm ups. Okay, so today we will make wraps around our feet. Okay, around legs. So we will have wraps around one leg wraps around the second leg and then we will connect that and uh, we will make figure eight okay with figure eight uh, that will be for our warm-up drill okay so let's start first of all every time you have to be low position okay low position stay low open your chest and every time your spine is straight okay spine is straight and now step forward with your right foot, right foot forward. You will go around your right foot. OK, we will make wraps around right foot. We have 10 times 10 reps. Then we will go another side. OK, so listen to me. I will say to you, I will say say when we 
change. Okay, so ready? Three, two, one, go. Ten times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's go. Switch, switch. Ten times. You can do as fast as you can, guys. As fast as you can. Very good, guys. Very good. You can shake your legs a little bit. Same position, same position. Step forward with your left foot now. We have same thing. Ten reps around the leg. Let's go. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. Oh, sorry, sorry. Let's go. Another side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Don't forget, every time, guys, your chest has to be out. Open your chest, okay? Your spine has to be straight, and then you just work. Next one, guys, we'll connect this. We'll make figure eight. So, you hold the ball with right hand or left hand, doesn't matter. I hold the ball with my right hand. I will pass the ball between my legs to the left hand, go around my uh, left foot, and do the same thing on the opposite side. Okay, so we're doing this 10 reps. Okay, this is step one. This is one. This is two. Okay, after that, we're gonna change direction. You got it? So you have front to the back side. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Very good. Same thing. You can shake your legs. Same position. Now we have same thing, but from back side to front side. Back, front, back, front. Okay. Three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then, very good. Shake your legs. Very good. Last one for warming up our body. We have flip drill. Okay? It's very easy, guys. It's very easy. You are in low position. You hold the ball with both hands front of yourself. Okay? And what you need to do, catch the ball with both hands behind yourself. Okay? Behind your knees. Okay? So, if this is too heavy for you, okay, you can make one bounce and then catch. One bounce and then catch, okay? We have 10 reps. 10 reps. 3, 2, 1, let's go. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Very good. Excellent. Now, guys, now we will start with the dribbles, okay? So first, we have V front dribble. You will use only right hand, okay? You will dribble the ball from right side to the left side, front of yourself, and then you will pull, pull the ball back from left side to the right side, okay? This is how it looks like. So, you shake your legs a little bit. So you start with right hand, or again, your chest is are out, chest out, spine straight, eyes up. You start with right hand, so you push, put the ball on the right side of your body, your right hip, and then you push the ball to the left and pull the ball back to the right, okay? So try to do that below your knees. So below your knees, okay? You have 10 reps, okay? This is one, one, two, three. Guys, is, is, if that is too easy for you, try to do as fast as you can, not 10 times. Try to do 20 times. You can choose, okay? So, ready? Three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's go switch to the left hand, same thing. One, two, don't worry if you lose the ball. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sorry, guys, I didn't, I didn't say, didn't mention 
will maximize our workout. So when I explain the drill on the right side, it will be the same thing on the left side with left hand. So we will do again. We have right hand after 10, 10 reps. We'll make crossover and then continue with the left left hand immediately. OK, so shake your legs. Shake your legs. We said we have same thing. Open your chest. Spine is straight. Spine is straight. OK, bend your knees. Bend your knees. Very good. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Very good. Excellent, guys. Excellent, guys. You can shake your legs. You can shake your legs. Every time, guys, when you dribble with free hand, if you dribble with right hand, with free hand, you have to protect the ball. Okay? So every time, put the ball for front of your, your ball and protect the ball. Okay? So let's go. Last one. Last set. Same thing. Ready? Three, two, one. One, go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. Excellent, guys. Excellent. Shake your legs. Shake your legs a little bit. We will have the same thing, but now we dribble, but on the side. Okay? So how are we going to do that? Position is the same. Position is the same. Bend your knees. Uh, open your chest. Spine is straight. It's very important. And every time you have to keep your eyes up. So how are we going to do? On the right side, you will push the ball back and then front. Back and front. Back and front. Okay? So you have back, front. That is one. Back, front. That is two. Ten reps. Okay? Shake your legs a little bit. Excellent. On three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. Let's go. Change. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. Shake your legs. Shake your legs. Very good. It's very important, guys. Maybe it's easy drill, but believe me, you need to do that as fast as you can. OK, if you if that is too easy for you, try to do as fast as you can. Push yourself, push yourself uh, hard, harder. OK, ready? Same thing. Three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then switch. Very good. Very good. Next thing, guys. Um, it's very, very important that you have a good control on the ball. OK, that that is you need to have more repetition, more and more repetition. It will be uh, good for you. OK, so. Third set, third set, guys. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. One, two. Open your chest. So the spine is straight. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. Very good. So. We decide to go like this. First couple of trainings, we will do basic stuff, super basic stuff, and then we will upgrade every time, every each training which we had next. Okay, so in first couple of trainings, maybe two, three trainings, we will make some basic stuff, and after that, we will make some some uh, advanced stuff. Okay, so next one, guys, we have between the legs. Okay. So what you need to do, you step forward with left foot, right foot will be back, okay? You bend your knees, put the ball on the right side, right hip, 
And what you have to do is next, you just push the ball between your legs. One, two, three, four. Okay, it's very easy. If maybe if that is too easy for you, okay, you have next thing. You have two dribbles in the spot, and then you will jump with left foot forward, right foot back, and then you will make the same thing. Go back in the same position, start position. So you will have two, two, two dribbles uh, in start position, two dribbles between the legs. Two dribbles in start position, two dribbles between the legs. And you have to move your feet, move your feet entire time. Let's go. 10 reps, okay? Ready? Step forward with right foot, uh, left foot, right foot is back. And three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good, guys. Shake your legs. Next one, guys. Step forward with right foot, left foot back. Start, uh, start, uh, put the ball on the left, left hip. Okay, let's go. Same thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. Yes, very good. Release. Shake your legs. Very good. Let's go. Second set. Second set. Step forward with left foot. Right foot back, put the ball on right hip. Three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. Let's go. Step forward with right foot. Put the ball on the left shoulder, uh, left hip. Two, three, four, five. I will have. Very good, excellent. Very good, guys. We have one more set, and then we will uh, go on a, a strength exercise. Okay, so let's go one more time. Step forward with left foot, right foot back. Ready? Put the ball on the right hip. Three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's go. Step four with right foot. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. Excellent. Now, guys, you can leave the ball on the side. So now, guys, we have sit-ups and push-ups. Okay. So sit-ups, very easy. Very easy. And push-ups, of course, very easy for you. So, like I said the last time, your abs is very important in basketball. When you play the game, uh, when you have strong abs, you can play defense, you can move in a defensive slide, you can shoot easily behind three-point line, uh, you can pass the ball strongly. Uh, you can dribble the ball strong, strongly. So you have used strong dribble, strong pass, easy shot. And in defense, you can move. It will be very easy for you. Legs in defense is very important. Legs as well, but and also abs. Okay, so sit-ups or crunches, we will have next one. Sit down or lay down, lay down, sorry, on your back. Put your hands on your knees and you will go just up and down. We have 10 reps, 10 reps. Three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. Next one. We have push-ups. You will stay like this, okay? Stay like this and just go down and up, down and up. Very easy. Just 
Look, so your body has to be straight. Okay, 10 reps, three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. Release. Very good. So now we will have in the uh, first set we hit upper upper our butt upper uh, abs now we will hit lower abs okay because we have upper abs lower abs and side abs okay let's go let's go guys you will go down lay down on your back put your uh, hands uh, under your hips okay extend your legs and now we will have scissors okay scissors each leg 10 times so total 20 times okay ready make crunch make crunch like this and three two one let's go two four six Very good. For push-ups, guys, now you will not stay like this. You will go a little bit wider, okay? So wide and then go down and up. Let's go. 10 reps. 10 reps, guys. Stay in wider position. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. Release. Very good, guys. Good work. So, next one. You will. Sit like uh, like on, on the first set for crunches. So it will be like this. You will sit. Ah, I will show you like this. So you will sit down, lay down. OK, you will make you have to. Your legs has to be in this position. OK, so you have to make a uh, crunch. OK, and then you will go right and left. Right, touch your heel, touch your heel. So, how it looks like, like this. So, make crunch and then just go right, left, right, left. Okay, so 20 times each side, 10 times, 10 reps. Okay, so ready, guys? On three, two, one, make crunch and go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Twenty. Very good. Excellent. Guys, for the last last uh, push ups, you can choose like this or that position of your hand. So you can choose whatever you like it, whatever is easier for you, okay? So, 10 reps on three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Guys, Good work, excellent work, guys. I hope uh, it was good for you that you enjoyed that you enjoyed in a, in this session. And you can do this this training. You can do whenever you want. Okay, you can make next four days. You can make the same same drill, 
drills, you will see that fourth that fourth day that you will be much better than today. OK, but you need to push yourself and you need to work. You need to work. You need to you need to work with the ball, whatever you want right now. OK, so if you have any question, I will just see. So. <clears throat> Um, so for equipment guys for now you need only basketball uh, every time on the end of the the practice I will say what you what you will need for the next practice okay so for next practice you will have you will need only basketball as well and after that you will need like this like one bottle or I don't know, maybe you can use shoes or whatever you want, but maybe two of this or two shoes and and basketball as well. OK, and that will be it. OK, guys, so. If you don't have a question. See you guys next next week. So. Stay safe, of, of course. <clears throat> Stay safe, guys, and I hope that we will we will see each other next next session. Okay.